Good afternoon, Ryan Shane. Welcome on VH Berries. Thank you for having me. You are a deploying in filigree, an affinity with the current world and the places and encounters um, that made you grow up and also the infinity uh, when it comes to your complicity with acting. Um, well, I started acting when I was um, about six or seven years old. My mom put me into just like a local theater camp for the summer just to keep me busy and I loved it. And the woman running the program was doing private lessons. I asked my mom to sign me up for the privates after the camp and it kind of just snowballed from there. Um, I took a bunch of classes growing up. Then I got involved with local theater at the Bucks County Playhouse in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, where I'm from. Um, and Then I got a manager based out of Philadelphia and I auditioned in Philly for some commercials. I landed a couple, which was great. And then I switched my managers and started auditioning out in New York. Um, I freelanced with a couple different agencies. And then I think when I was about 12 or 13, I signed with Innovative Artists and I have been with them ever since, so for a very long time. It has been a very long time, starting from a short film called Superstore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I was like, uh, I don't know, 10 or 11 years old when I did that. <laughs> Yeah, it was a short film, a horror film, and it was like a three night shoot, but we shot through the night and I was only 10 or 11. And my parents, we had never been on a set before, like a film set. I had been on sets for commercials and um, yeah, we shot all night into the wee hours of the morning. I think it threw my parents for a little ride. Um, to have their young daughter uh, working throughout the night with adults. I was the only child in the um, short, but I loved it. It was really fun. I remember taking a nap on one of the couches inside the uh, superstore that we were filming in. We were filming in a Costco, I'm pretty sure. And I took a nap on one of the sofas. <laughs> but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I loved it. I, I always love being on set. I always have. Absolutely, Ryan Shane. I was going to mention the fact that because it uh, was shot into a Costco shop, uh, it was uh, very easy to find a couch to sleep on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and there were some like random toys around that I probably played with. And yeah, I just had a great time. It was fun for me. It was very fun for you. And um, before, for example, making some auditions in uh, the two very special parts of the USA, New York and um, California, you were actually coming from uh, Philadelphia, which is the largest city um, in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I grew up about 40 minutes north of Philadelphia and um, my early acting days, I my mom would pick me up from school and drive me into Philadelphia. It was about 40 minutes and I would go on these commercial auditions and I got to land a few of them, which was fun. Um, but then like once I transitioned to New York, my mom would pick me up from school. I was never homeschooled. I always did uh, normal school the whole time. And she would pick me up from school and we'd take the train in to New York and I would audition. And that started in about fifth grade, I guess, or sixth grade. Yeah, and um, probably sixth grade. And uh, there were some weeks and years where I was auditioning like three times a week for audition or for uh, commercials, sorry. Um, and those were, that was crazy. And there was one story <laughs> my mom likes to remind me 
one night my mom like after a couple years of doing it and not getting anything i mean i would get a commercial here and there but that was it my mom asked me like do you want to give it up because I'm tired. She was saying, like, I'm tired of taking you into New York constantly for these auditions. If you want to give up, let's do it. Like, let's stop. And I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not giving up. I'm going to be a star one day, which was very grandiose and a great dream to have. Um, that hasn't quite happened yet. But um, yeah, I, I didn't want to give up. So we kept doing it. You're uh, keeping... Uh, doing it because uh, at that time, if your mother um, was going to give up, you couldn't rely on your younger brother to uh, make you travel. I'm mentioning Carson Adam. Yeah, yeah, I have two younger brothers. How did you find that out? That's so great. Yeah, Adam and Carson. Um, they like they were uh, <laughs> in sports their whole lives, so I was very different than them. Absolutely. The only thing that um, Carson and Adam, um, uh, the only situation they could help you is uh, only to uh, bake a homemade apple pie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um, did you see them on my Instagram or where did you find them? I think so. Absolutely. That's so funny. Yeah, they were... Um, They were big into sports, so there were a few times that they went into New York with me, actually. Um, but yeah, mostly my mom when I was young. And then when I like, when I turned 17 or 18, I would go in by myself sometimes. And then, um, and then I went to college in New York City at Barnard College, which is a part of Columbia. And, um, I auditioned while I was in college, and then I was on a, a series during college, which was awesome. So, yeah, I, I definitely lots of credit to my mom and dad for helping me in those early years. And Ryan Shane, at the very beginning, I mentioned your uh, affinity with uh, the places around you and the infinity when it comes to acting, because uh, It can apply to one of your uh, latest uh, projects in the series um, Law and Order, in which you played the character of Mia Moreno. Yes. Um, so I played uh, Mia Moreno. She is the niece of Dominic Carisi, who is one of the main uh, detectives on the show every week. <laughs> I played her four years ago. And um, they called me back to play her again uh, about two months ago. And the episode aired about a month ago. I think it, it aired in February 2022. Um, but I'm actually friendly uh, with the showrunner of Law and Order, Warren Light. He was the showrunner on the first TV series I ever did when I was 16 or 17 in high school, I was on a series called Lights Out. It was on FX. It was about um, an ex-boxer coming back to reclaim his title. And I was his daughter. And I was on, I was on every episode. And um, it shot in Queens, New York. And I was very close with the cast and crew and very close with the showrunner, Warren. And we just always stayed in touch over the years. Um, I, I do some writing, so I consulted him for some writing advice over the years. He helped me get into college. He wrote me an amazing recommendation letter to get into Barnard. And then, yeah, he, after Lights Out, he went to Law and Order and was the showrunner there. And he brought me on three times. And so the last time was this past time as Mia Marino for the second time. The first time I was on the show, I played a different character. I watch uh, Ryan Shane this latest episode a couple times and at the very beginning uh, I thought that you were actually the mother of the two girls that you interrupted at the very beginning because they were drinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I play an RA, um, which is a resident assistant, I think. Um, basically... 
I oversee the freshman girls <laughs> at this college. So I am like, I am kind of like a college version of your mother because I make sure that you follow the rules. Yeah, I um, I reprimand them in the beginning. Yeah, but it's a fun little scene. I'm like, you know, a little sassy in that scene, which is fun. This is a sassy scene, and in definitive, we can say that this is a trilogy. Your appearance in this very special series, because you appeared in 2012, 2018, and in 2022. Yeah. My first time on the show, I played a different character. Um, I was just, you know, a, a victim of the week on that, on that episode. And then the past two times I've been on, I was, um, like I said, Dominic Carisi, who is played by Peter Scanavino. I played his niece and the whole cast is amazing. And I, I, you know, I've only been on three times, but I do feel kind of comfortable there now. So it's nice. And I know some of the people, I know some of the crew from other projects I've worked on. So it's just nice to go to that set. And Ryan Shane, I am very inspired and very curious about your last uh, 1,000 days because uh, you moved uh, to Los Angeles, California, and also uh, the last couple years you started writing some uh, scripts with a very bicostal uh, screenwriting partner in New York mm -hmm. City and yeah. also shooting a feature film. Yes. Um, yeah, so I, I moved to Los Angeles from New York about three and a half years ago. <laughs> I lived in New York City for seven years and um, I needed a change. I actually went through a breakup in New York and I was sad and lonely. So I moved to LA and then I started putting my feelings about the breakup onto paper and it became a script. It became a screenplay. And I had already written, um, I had already written a screenplay, which was a thriller and I co-wrote a comedy pilot. And then I wrote this rom-com, which is about a girl dealing with heartbreak and um um and then meanwhile I was I was writing another pilot with my writing partner who's in New York who you mentioned his name's Hernando I met him in an acting class back in New York and um we are co-writing a series a pilot right now um it's a crime drama um kind of like It has a Breaking Bad element to it, um, but the protagonist is a, a young woman. And uh, yeah, I'm 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 diving back into some old projects and writing and editing and getting everything good to go so I can show it to people and hopefully pitch it soon. This is very exciting. I'm looking forward to see this uh, action drama, crime, one hour's uh, piece of art. And I'm also very curious about um, uh, the film that you actually already uh, shot it during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. So I shot a movie called Unexpected. Um, I play a goth teenager who's pregnant, or she finds out that she's pregnant in the movie. And... Um, It's directed, it was directed by David Hunt, who is married to Patricia Heaton, who was on Everybody Loves Raymond. She was the wife and she produced. So they, um, yeah, I met with David for just like a, a meeting to see if we would work well together. And he hired me and it was an amazing experience. We shot for a month before the pandemic started and then we got shut down. So then we reshot um, over a or I guess a year later we reshot um, the the film. We had like some casting changes, and um, I'm not really sure when it's coming out. They were hoping to get into some into some festivals, um, but the lead was Anna Camp and Joe Mazzello, and then uh, myself. 
um, Nash Greer. He's a, a big Instagram up and coming actor. And um, yeah, we just had a great time. It was in Oklahoma. So we all hung out with each other when we weren't shooting because there was nothing else to do. <laughs> Absolutely. And Orion Shane, when you are on movie sets uh, filming something, uh, you always have uh, and playing characters with very different names. So how do they call you? Uh, they, most of the people call you by your actual name. Like they'll just say <laughs> Ryan in between takes. Um, which I appreciate, but I, I respond to my character's name as well. That's when you're in that mindset, it's not a hard, you know, transition to just jump into that character's name. So it's easy. Jumping from a uh, Ryan to a uh, Shirley is easy. Um, yeah, it's not, I mean, it's not hard. I'm, I was used to reading her <laughs> name and in, in the script all the time and yeah, it was easy. I don't know. It's a, it's an actor thing. You just, you know, kind of live in a different person's world for a little bit. So you're used to hearing their name. And just before you just mentioned the fact that uh, you decided to move from a city to another uh, due to a special event. Uh, looking back today, um, was it the best decision that you have ever made? Yeah, it was. I love <laughs> Los Angeles. I am so much happier here. I love New York City. I have some of my best friends still live in New York. Um, so I'm very lucky. I get to go back and visit them all, all the time. Like multiple times a year, I go to New York and visit my friends. But I'm much happier in the sunshine and the warmth. It's like 80 degrees right now with sun and I see palm trees out my window and the Hollywood Hills. It's, it's very nice. I don't know if... Um the subject that I'm going to mention made the trip with you, but I saw that you actually have a dog right now. Well, I, li my, I have a roommate and she has a little dog, but my mom also has a dog. So, so which dog are you talking about? I, I don't have one myself, but I live with one <laughs> who's my roommate's dog. And then my mom has a little black dog and I was just visiting my mom in Florida. So was hanging out with the dog. Absolutely. Dogs are everywhere. Ryan Shane, uh, thank you so much for your time and I am wishing you the best. Thank you so much for having me. This was really fun.